guys welcome back to my channel quite a bit on my channel so for today's video as you guys can tell by the title we're gonna be doing the bath and body works candle haul right here are my candles and also I have gotten some of the sprays in here but I purchased these when they had a little sale it was how much each 550 each spray it was literally like a week or two weeks oops before black friday and they had this big sale they also had lotion i got some friends that purchased the lotion literally the day before this press sale they had lotion sales for those of you guys who don't know bath and body works had like a candle day but this week this year it was like a whole weekend from friday to sunday and the candles the three week candle were on sale for 9.95 we which are normally like twenty four dollars and some change, so it's normally like twenty four something. I think twenty four ninety five or something like that. So they had like a huge huge sale. But before I show you guys what I got and what I recommend y'all to get, make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you don't want to see more haul, make sure you comment down below what other stores you want me to do haul from. I make sure I do so for you. And also don't forget to share this video around, give it a thumbs up, and make sure your notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And yeah, let's get started. So first, I will go with the small bag, okay? Because you only got two candles in here. So the first candle is this one the vanilla bean i love vanilla okay this smells so good oh my gosh it smells it smells sweet you guys know you know vanilla it smells good it smells sweet it smells just so good i definitely recommend the vanilla bean the next candle i got is the mahogany tickwood as you guys can tell, I burned it literally the first day I got it. I burned it. It smells so, so good. It's like a very, like, strong masculine smell. And you guys know I have a dog. So it's really good to have this. Literally, even before, like, my candles, the fact that I use a whole bunch of, like, um, wallflower from Bath & Body Works. And I also use some of them from, I mix them with the one from Walmart. Um... The fact that I use that in my house, most people come here and be like, oh, we we came and tell you have a dog, like your house smells so good. That's because I always have like wallflower in literally every room of my house. But adding the candle is like, mm, it smells so good. So that's, that's the second one I recommend once again, mahogany, tickwood. It smells very masculine and very like, it's, I, I love it. Now let's go to the big bag. I have to have it on my lap. So the first thing I'll go for is the mahogany coconut. By the way, my friend is the one that, that went to get my candles because the first time I went, the line was too long and I was like, oh, I'm not doing this because I have somewhere to be. So I was, I'm not doing this. So I left and she, she literally went the last day of the sale. Or was it the last day? No, she went Saturday because the sale ended Sunday. She, I went Friday. The line was too long. My friend went Saturday and she hit me up. She was like, oh, I know you came and... You know, the line was long. I'm in line already. You know, we want to text me your, your, your what, uh, the candles you want. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. So I sent it to her. But of course, you guys can tell um, if it was sold out online, most of the candles I wanted, which are like the most popular one, like champagne toast, apple, red apple something. Yeah, red apple something. Yeah, all those are the type of the, the scent that I wanted. But they were sold out. So she went ahead and just replaced it with a few items she would think I like. And like the lady at the store told her. If you guys don't know, by the way, by the way, if you guys don't know, on Candle Day, you can go shop and then go back and return it. And get the ones you want. With less people, less crowded. So literally, if you're, you don't have your, you know, your scent there, don't worry about it. Just get anything and go replace it. Like this one is mahogany coconut. It smells good. It smells like a body lotion for real. For real. But I don't think I'll burn this. I think these are one of the ones that I'll probably go and return. But, like, I'm not about to lie, though. Packaging is cute. The packaging is giving cute. So, the next one I got is Vanilla Bean Noel. Okay? This is how the packaging look. It is so nice. This is... Smells really good. Um... It's not like vanilla bean, but you just have like this little, 
Holly, this smell. Seriously. It smells really good. It's vanilla bean, but that's the holy smell. Even though it's vanilla bean, it smells different than this vanilla bean that I just, you know, recommended to y'all. So. And the packaging is cute. It's giving snowflakes at the top. Okay. But I would recommend this for the holidays only. Like, literally, I can put this at my house, like, Christmas all the way through. I can burn this all the way through New Year's. And that's going to be it. Because I think this one that I recommended smells better and stronger than this one like i said i like stronger scents because it lasts longer in the house one and two i have a dog so it helps a lot next one and that was also one one item that my friend picked for me next one is black tape wood packaging is cute too mm. it smells good but it's not good. But I probably won't burn this in um in my living room. I probably burn this in my basement. Like when I'm downstairs chilling, cause you guys know my basement has like a gaming room. When I'm downstairs chilling with friends, I can burn this candle. Um, do I recommend this? Yes, I do. But I would rather you get the mahogany tick wood than that okay so once again I recommend the mahogany tick wood over the black tick wood but I will burn this in my basement so I might or may not return it I don't know yet um next we have another mahogany tick wood once again I told y'all some of my flavors were in there so I told her she can get two of these it smells so good. It's very masculine and it smells strong and perfect. I recommend this 100%. They have one, like a um, tick wood intense. That one would also be something I recommend. But I don't think my friend got it. She couldn't find it. This one, it repeat. Ooh, it smells so good. It repeat vanilla. Okay? The vanilla I recommended. She got two of them. Once again, they didn't have all the scent I wanted. So I recommend that vanilla bean. Last but not least, she went in and got something that I actually never like looked into and is the eucalyptus mint. Okay. Now when I smell this, I smell I smell like it smells like stress relief. I don't know if you guys ever smell the stress relief candle. Or um, they also have like a stress relief body oil for massage. That's why you know they use it when it's time to massage me, and that's what I use to massage him. You guys already know. But anyways, um, it smells really good, and I also have the the um wallflower in my guest room. So when my guests come and sleep over, they can feel relaxed. That's how it smells. It's giving me a relaxed smell, stress relief for sure. And there's a very like the mint is not overpowering so if you are scared of you know men being overpowering it won't be overpowering not at all will I burn this in my house though or will I go change it to like a champagne toast or like I think I would I think I would on the day that like on a Friday night after bed and I had like a, my weekend on Wednesday y'all already know that but after like a long week I'll burn this more in our bedroom so we can like relax and give each other's massage and you know watch a movie and all that. Do that next place and chill top of night. I will burn this. So I recommend this for chill days and stuff like that. Chill nights. Um to relax. Yes, I recommend this. And yeah, so the three I really recommend are um Eucalyptus Mint. Like I never thought of this. <laughs> Of this scent for real, so she put me on, and she told me it was the lady at the Bath and Body Works. I was like, I think you should get this to your friend. I think she would like it since they don't have all her her, her scent. So yeah, she's right. I probably keep this one for sure. I'm keeping my vanillas. Got two of them. The more the better. I'm covered for a while, and I'm also thinking about keeping both. Um, I wanted an intense one, but they didn't have it, so I probably keep one and go get the intense if you guys see most of the like tick wood intense 
are like very very good because you don't have to burn it for so long and it smells strong so it's like your place will smell good like pretty quickly than having the regular but like i said i recommend these two and then eucalyptus mint okay so the rest yeah you know based on what i said it smelled like if that's you go ahead do you boo but personally um i will go back to the store and you know change the black tick wood to something else maybe to the intense tick wood um and the mahogany coconut change that as well um i mainly will keep this one just for the holidays i'll start probably burning this christmas eve all the way up to new year's and that's about it for this one i burn this in my living room like i said but that should be it i won't that's not a candle that i'll have like two of them because i probably won't use it like during the holidays only so because it smells nice you know but it's not as good strong like i like this one okay now that we are done talking about candles and what i recommend let's talk about the body spray as you guys can tell it's in the box i got this online um i'm mainly gonna be gifting these to people but i will tell you guys about warm vanilla sugar okay it's just smells so good let me spray it it smells so good you guys by the way vanilla you never go wrong with vanilla okay that's one of them the next one i got is the forever red and it's pretty sweet it smells sweet um That's not the perfume that I put on though. It smells more like high school me. You know what I'm saying? I mainly will be gifting these as you know, Christmas gift, you know, New Year's gift to my peoples. Mmm, this smells good, good. Champagne toast. See, I knew before I even read it, I spread it. Champagne toast. You never go wrong with that, okay? Another one that I, I'm used to is this one in the stars. It smells like Mm, grown even though it's a body spray it smells grown and it's, it's giving it's giving by the way these are the type of perfume i put in my car if you go in my car you're gonna see like one of these if you go in base cars you're gonna see one of these like i always put them like in the car for like a quick refresh but when i leave the house i like to actually put like you know perfume not body spray this one mad about you i never tried it but it smells good. Mmm. This smells grown grown. This is the type of perfume mm, I can give my mom to put in her car. Because, like I said, I like having like one of these in the car for quick refresh. That smells really grown. It smells like rose. Mmm. 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 about you. Okay. And the last one I got is You Are The One. There's so much scent going on here. Let me. And sorry if I keep looking over here. I'm supposed to look over here. I need to practice how to not use my viewfinder. It's not easy. Mmm. Mmm. This smells really, really good. This smells good, good. So the two perfume I recommend you to get if you're like over 30. I'm talking about 30 plus, 35, 40. If you want a quick refresh to have it, by the way, these are body spray or perfume, okay? We're grown out here, okay? If you're over 21, you need to be using perfume. And these are more like for touch-up. That's like a trick. You, you, you get your perfume, and then, you know, th throughout the day, you can quickly touch up with these body sprays. But, um, grown women, you guys need to wear perfume. But anyways, if you're over 30, you want a quick touch-up um, perfume, get these. Now... If you want, like, a, you got, like, between 18 and 21, get these. This one, if you are between 18 and 30, you can get the vanilla bean. But in the stars and champagne toast goes with everybody. Like I said, but you got to make sure you're the type of person that likes to smell like. Um, it's not too sweet. That's what I like it. It's not too sweet. But it's just like so perfect. Most people know 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 the champagne toast, so y'all already know how that smells. In the stories, 
also smells really good so right now my room smells so good like my female room smells so good but anyways guys that's it for the perfumes that i got um i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was nice few minutes for you guys if you guys enjoy the haul let me know i make sure i do more for you guys i recommend all six of these perfumes like i said based on the age range i gave but again it's your body it's your choice it's however you want to smell if you want to you know buy any of them you can go ahead no matter how old you are i was just saying it based on my perspective because when i was in high school versus now my scent like the type of things i put on my body as far as like body sprays goes or perfume have changed and stuff like that now i like the more like not too grown but like grown smell you know what i'm saying thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed it's free also do not forget to follow me on my social media platform that's instagram twitter and snapchat i also have a tiktok it'll be in the screen box down below for your convenience you click the link bada boom bada bam you add your girl don't forget to also turn the notification bell so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video and i'll catch you on my next one actually i'll catch you tomorrow for vlogmas day 10. bye guys